Jaggy Aina has finally introduced the perfume line she's been teasing. So let's analyze it using the marketing mix model. Product, price, price and promotion. Starting with product. If there's ever a term called product personality fit, it will be Jackie deciding to launch a fragrance line. I mean, perfumes align perfectly with her personal brand and her audience's expectations. Because not only have we seen her own personal perfume collection throughout the years, but we've also come to trust her because she buys these products and she comes online and she reviews them. She tells you what to expect, what she doesn't like and all of that. And not only that, she herself has gathered enough data from her comment sections from these reviews, you know, from people voicing out the notes they like, what they dislike, what their preferences are. So purely because of that, I feel like Jackie will create the best product for her audience. And this is why I think the naming is also clever because each name is after a personality that you can relate with, a personality that's inside her audience. Let's look at them. So she has one of them called I Am Her. And this name is like a powerful affirmation and it aligns with the brand's message of empowerment. It's described as aspirational, effortless, confident, alluring, approachable and feminine, which are qualities that Jackie herself, you know, promotes and she also embodies these qualities. But at the same time, some or most part of her audience can also align with this quality. The other one is hard to get. You can already tell from the name that it suggests, you know, you are exclusive, you are desirable, and it makes the perfume even more appealing to the consumers, some of Jackie's audience, because they see themselves that way as well. And then there's another one called You Remind Me. And this one does a great job with nostalgia because not only does it remind you of the song You Remind Me, but then also... You know how they say when you wear a perfume, it reminds you of something, a place, or a person. So this one was really done. Then we have NDA. I think this one will be the one that I buy because this is what I represent. But NDA, you know, it means that you mean business. You're not here to play. You're here to do business. So I like that. Moving on to price. So Jackie did a live. Originally, when she um, announced and did the launch, there was no price attached to it. But she finally did a live and I caught the live and where she said the pricing strategy is mid-tire pricing and it's $80, which is really good. So that means that it's affordable. People are able to get this product. And then I noticed that there was no pre-order. So it's only a live launch at Sephora on her website as well, which is very strategic. And I'll tell you why. Firstly, the live launch creates anticipation and excitement, which can drive like the initial sales because you don't want to be the one who will be left out when everybody's on that live launch trying to get a hand of the product. But secondly, it allows the brand to gather like real-time data so they can sit there and see where's everybody coming from, what are they buying, which one has run out, which one came out first, you know what I'm saying. So they can use that to adjust their strategy if it's necessary for that. But lastly, there's this sense of urgency that it creates, you know, because right now you cannot just go in and pre-order and sit down. You will have to wait for it to come out on April 2nd and go and get that, which I believe will make it sell out. Even though Jackie did say that she's not like doing this to sell out or anything, but I believe that it will. And selling out means that it will create more demand for it. Moving on to place, I think um, the decision to sell the fragrance line online and also in a physical store like Sephora is so smart. Firstly, like perfume is something that you want to experience in person. You want to smell it. You want to look at the packaging. You want to touch it. So having it at Sephora is really good because in a world right now where everything is done online, that's one of the best ways that you can make yourself stand out. But secondly, not only that, Sephora will increase its visibility because there are some people who are not online. As much as we like to think that everybody's online, there are some people who are actually not online. So they can go on Sephora and see something that they wouldn't have normally seen because they are hardly online. So it will attract like a wide range of customers. And lastly, like the physical store, like I've said, will provide a unique shopping experience in a world where brands are mostly online. 
So Jackie, that was really, really smart. Now, the only downside, which I think she will resolve soon, is that the line is only available right now in U.S., Canada, and she did say in Africa. She didn't say which exactly what countries, but she did say Africa. So Jackie, I hope we will get that over here as well in the U.K. Now, let's move on to promotion. Oh, where were you when Jackie dropped that teaser? On her Instagram and TikTok when she dropped that teaser of her clearing her massive perfume collection. Like, where were you? Because when I saw that, I was like, Jackie doesn't even need to do more to create more buzz, hype, and excitement. Because this one teaser video has done it all. It was the perfect mix of curiosity. Because she wanted to know, what was she doing with that? Where are all these perfumes going? Fourthly, it's like, for the people who didn't realize that's how big her collection is. You're like, whoa, that's a big collection. But then secondly, you're like, where is she going to put that? And then she dropped that one thing. So there was some little bit of controversy attached to that. You know, there were people making tin pieces around overconsumption and all of that. But either way, everybody was tuned in to see what was going to happen next, which Jackie did right after, you know, with, you know, sharing her hero's journey content, which is part of the launch content, you know, product description content. She went live, she answered some FAQs. And I also believe there will be more content to come, like social proof, you know, benefits, FAQs and all of that. There will be more content to come. So in conclusion, I believe that Jackie's new fragrance line is well aligned with who she is, is well aligned with what her audience expects from her. So this will be a success. I will, I believe that this will be a success. So it will be interesting to see how the products, you know, are received, you know, the reviews and all of that. But knowing Jackie, I have 100% faith that it will exceed expectations.